welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in once again. Today I wanted to cover a topic that I don't think gets spoken about uh, very often, but it's a great feature that you may want to add to your arsenal of uh, Mavic Air shots. And it's something that I've only recently stumbled across, but I will definitely be using going forward. I think it's a great tool to capture some really great shots with your Mavic Air. So let's get right into it. So what is the what is the shot that I'm talking about? It's actually one of the intelligent flight modes built into the um, DJI Go 4 app. It's called Point of Interest. When you first launch your DJI Go 4 app, you're going to see it in the lower right hand corner and just click on that. It'll open up a pop up screen. Initially, it'll say how to connect, how to control your aircraft. Basically, it's it's going to give you just this is just a prompt. You can ignore it once you're familiar with the settings, but um, to use this, uh, use the sticks to control the circling height and the direction of the flight. These can be changed at any time. The uh, left stick is throttle up and throttle down, clockwise and counterclockwise. The right stick, if you push forward on it, it's radius uh, uh, decrease and pull down, radius increase turn right, turn left, and again, you can ignore this going forward if you select the option in the bottom there, do not show again, or hit OK. Um, once you do that, you're gonna get another screen that basically prompts you to set your point of interest. So this is where it got a little tricky for me because I didn't quite understand what it was asking for. So what you gotta do is actually circle or get your Mavic Air directly above whatever it is that your um, Whatever, whatever the point of interest is, you have to actually be directly above it. So in my example, I was trying to get a shot of the steeple at this church. So you have to be right on top of that, right above it. And you can adjust your gimbal downwards so that you can see where you're at precisely. Um, once you're where you need to be, hit that record point of interest button. At that point, you're gonna get another screen that says the aircraft will circle the point of interest slowly, circling radius, altitude, and speed can be adjusted by the sticks and the sliders. So what you can do at this point is pull back from your point of interest, set your radius there on the left and it'll tell you what your radius is. And you set your altitude as well. And one thing, just information, if you're less than five meters or 16 feet, you're gonna get a warning message. So you have to be at least five meters or 16, um, you have to set the radius to at least five meters or 16 feet in order for this to work properly. So make sure you pull back a little bit um, additionally, you're going to see a little notice here at the bottom. It says aircraft will return to, to the home point if low battery return to home is triggered. Set suitable return to home altitude to ensure safety. So the default is what your normal uh, return to home point altitude is set for, but you can change it here in case there's anything in the way, any obstructions, uh, I don't know, telephone poles, trees, whatever it might be. So that is, it's returning, it's not running into those obstacles. You wanna make sure it's high enough that it's going over them and coming down to um, the de designated return to home point. So again, the, the point of interest, one, and then once you once you set your radius and altitude and your return to home point, altitude is set properly, hit apply. And at that point, it's gonna to begin to circle the object until you exit out of the um, point of interest intelligent flight mode. So. You just hit that apply button and it's gonna start circling until you tell it to stop. Does a really sm really smooth pan all the way around. And um, it's really a great mode because if you've ever, ever tried to fly a full circle smoothly around an object, it's almost impossible to do. I certainly can't do it. And I probably don't have the patience to uh, sit there and, and become that level of expert that I can actually take a very smooth picture 360 degrees around an object um, with the winds blowing and trying to keep it at a stable altitude, staying this, staying the, uh, keeping the exact radius that I want and keeping the gimbal focused on it. So there's a lot of things you can play with in here. Some really cool um, uh, uh, video that you can get out of this. And one other thing that, that you can start playing around with as well, which you can see in the video footage that I've presented, is there's another feature um, that you can add kind of layer on top of this point of interest feature in Adobe Premiere Pro or one of the other editing softwares is you can go in to um, your editing software and do what's called speed ramping. 
So you can see in the video that I did, I did a little bit of speed ramping. I'm not an expert at it, but I wanted to play around with it a little bit where you can start, you know, shooting your footage, speed ramp it, you speed it up and it, you know, makes for some really interesting footage. So I hope you found this useful. It was um, a feature that I hadn't really had a chance to play around with, but I certainly think I will be using it going forward. If you found the uh, information in here helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified of any future videos. And if you're an active subscriber, I do thank you. If you're not an act active subscriber, please think about subscribing. And um, until next time, happy flying.